All right, Miss P again with the layers of the atmosphere worksheet. Um, so I'm pretty much going to help you more with the graphing of this part because I know you guys um, maybe don't have um, that much experience graphing. Uh, so, or especially in science, I don't know why you wouldn't. But before you go any further, okay, you need to make sure you read the background uh, information, especially talking about temperature variations. Um, especially that the atmosphere, I'll highlight that can be divide, divided into four uh, layers based on temperature variation, but there is a fifth layer, okay, and then it, we should know what that is, right? It equals the exosphere, okay, so make sure um, you don't forget about the exosphere, right? Um, all right, so we should know that um, the closest layer is the troposphere, okay, and above that is the stratosphere, followed by the mesosphere and the thermosphere, and then the last one, like I said, um, the exosphere. And then it said the upper, so this is important. So it says the upper boundaries between these layers are known as the troposphere, all right, sorry, tropopause, stratopause, and mesopause. Okay, so the reason why it's called, right, has that pause is because, right, um, this trend of warming and cooling pauses, okay? Um, and so we have, we're going to read this. Then this talks about why temperature begins to increase with altitude in the stratosphere. Um, that's important to know, okay, that this warming is caused by ozone, okay? And let's see. I'm going to read more about that um, with pollution. You read that. And then at the stratopause, temperature stops increasing with altitude and we'll see this when we graph and then it's talking about um, because this is pretty interesting so because the atmosphere is so thin when you once you get to the thermosphere um, and the exosphere you can't really measure temperature accurately okay and you need special instruments so make sure you read through that um, before you go any further so you can pause and read it um, but here, I'm going to go to the directions. Okay, so the directions say, this is for the graphing, table one. So, where's table one? Table one is right here. Okay, so that's a table of information, right, some data. Um, so, these, this is actual average temperature readings at various altitudes. So, um, what does zero altitude mean? Okay, it means we're at sea level. Okay. We're right at zero, okay? So we're at the bottom, we're at the troposphere, okay? Uh, and so at zero altitude, it says that the temperature was 15 degrees Celsius. It's pretty warm. Um, and then the altitude, so this is a separate column, okay? So this is the start of it, all right? So you do this, so this is kind of separate. Okay, so zero, and then at five kilometers, it's actually negative 18 centimeters. So this goes all the way up to 48, and then continues right here, the 52, and all the way to 100 kilometers. Okay, so we're going to do step. So the direction says, table one contains average temperature readings at various altitudes in Earth's atmosphere. Plot this data on the graph on the worksheet. Connect adjacent points, so those are points next door, with a smooth curve. Be careful to plot negative temperature numbers correctly. This profile provides a general picture of temperature at any given place or time. However, the actual temperature may deviate from average values, particularly in the lower atmosphere. All right, so the graph that they're talking about is back here, okay? So what would be a good idea uh, is that you have to flip, oh, these my papers all messed up, flip back and forth. All right, so this is the graph that you have, and so the title of it is um, Graph of Temperature at Various Altitudes, okay? So we have altitude, so this whole thing is altitude, okay? And then this is plotting temperature, okay? So we're going to look at our chart, okay? So the first one is zero kilometers at 15 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to plot that. So zero altitude. So altitude, right? That's zero altitude. And we're at 15 degrees Celsius. So these are negatives. 
Okay, so 15, so 15 is in between 10 and 20. I'm going to plot a point right there. So that was my first point. Okay, so I'm going to go to my chart and I'm going to check that off. Okay, that I did that. And so the next one is 5 kilometers and it's negative 18. So 5 kilometers right there and I'm going to go to positive 18. So, oh no, no, actually negative 18. So I'm going to go... Um, it's kind of close to negative 20 right there. Um, so I'm going to plot my point right there. And then I'm going to check that off. And I'm going to continue to do that until I get to the end. Okay, so I got to this point where um, I had the same temperature um, for two points in altitude. So it was like right here. So I had like at 12, it was negative 56. And then at 20, it was negative 56. So that's okay. So what's going to end up looking like is that. And that's okay. Um, so, um, so eventually this is going to kind of curve. So this is going to connect the points because I'm uh, not patient. I'm going to connect them and we can see what it kind of looks like. So that is what they call the pause. So it, the temperature pauses. It remains the same, right? So the temperature is like, I think it was negative 58. Okay, and so I'm going to keep going. So my next one is at 25 kilometers. I'm going to be negative 51. So let's see, 25 and negative 51. It's like right there. Okay, so it's going to start curving this way. Does that look right? Oh, and I'm going to keep going. Okay, so actually I got to a point again where I saw found another pause. Um, and so it was at, um, I think, so we had 48 kilometers, negative 2 degrees, and I got at 52, and then negative 2 degrees. Um, and so I got that, and then actually, so that's a pause, and that's okay. So when we have these instances um, where you don't know where um, a point lies, like when I had 52, um, right here, I had 52. So if you have 50 between 50 and 55, it's about in the middle. Okay, so I kind of guesstimated right there. Um, so I'm going to keep going until I get to 100. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, make sure you're adding a best fit curve to this line. So I've connected all my dots, so it should look like it goes this way. So this means, um, to put a note, right, going this way means it's getting warmer. And if your graph is going this way, it is getting colder, right, because the negatives are here and the positives are here. Um, and so that means that... Um, Right, the troposphere, so zero, that's the, this is Earth. Okay, and then up here is kind of outer space. Right? Okay, and so as we go from Earth, the temperature is getting, right, colder, and then it switches. And it gets warmer, and then it switches, and it gets colder, switches, and then it gets slightly Okay, warmer. And we don't have the rest because it said in the reading that um, thermometers don't really work that well. And so the steps, okay, so it says label the different layers of the atmosphere and the separating boundaries between each layer. Okay, um, and so I have about a minute. So it says mark a general um, location of the ozone layer. And it says you should place eight words on your graph in correct location. So troposphere, tropopause, stratosphere, tropopause, mesosphere, mesopause, thermosphere, and ozone layer. Um, so you do need to label those and then answer these questions and then have me check it um, so you can go on the next step of your playlist. Okay, so pauses again. Okay, pauses. This is a pause. Okay, this was a pause. And this is a pause. Okay, so you have to figure out um, where those go. All right, so good luck. And the label all those things and answer the questions. All right, bye.